thanks for joining me again for another Pixie Talks review vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. So I am watching a few anime series right now, which I will review once I'm finished with them. But in the meantime, here is a Japanese film from 2002 about a Lolita girl living in the countryside. Easily one of the quirkiest, most charming films I've ever seen. This is Kamikaze Girls. Girls is based on a light novel and also has a manga adaptation. I have a copy of the manga, so I was somewhat familiar with the story, but the manga is quite a condensed version and doesn't go into near as much detail. The story concerns a Lolita named Momoko who lives by a very hedonistic, self-serving philosophy. She's decided that she doesn't need any friends until one day she meets Ichiko, a rough and tough biker chick. The two form an unlikely friendship, and the movie is a slice-of-life look into their relationship and adventures. There is something particularly charming about the tone of this movie. It is a slice-of-life, so plot-wise, not a whole lot actually ends up happening, but they do manage to make every little moment incredibly entertaining. If I were to describe this movie in a word, it would be... whimsical. It just feels magical at every turn, and that makes it a joy to watch. The characters themselves are incredibly entertaining and interesting, even if they aren't really particularly great people. Momoko is self-centered and terrible. Ichiko is brash on the surface, but incredibly fragile emotionally. The two of them end up complementing each other's personalities in the most bizarre of ways. The biggest problem with this story is that neither of them are dynamic characters. Uh, let's talk literature for a second. One of the biggest rules in storytelling and character development is the need for character growth and transformation. A dynamic character is defined as a literary or dramatic character who undergoes an important inner change, as in personality or attitude. The journey you take your characters through is meant to change them and grow them, and if it doesn't, it's almost a wasted story. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. However, slice of life storytelling does operate a little bit differently. As the name would suggest, slice of life stories aren't meant to be huge epic tales that change the scope of a person's life forever. Rather, they are meant to be a simple look at a day in the life of a character. Throughout the film, there are some moments where you see the characters question their outlook on life a little bit. And while they haven't actually grown by the end of the film, you get the sense that they probably will in the future. While the biggest charm is certainly the interesting characters, the other really big selling point of this movie is the look into Japanese subcultures. Momoko is a Lolita and Ichiko is a Yankee, uh, not to be confused with Yankee. Both of these are fascinating subcultures and it's really interesting to get a look into them and watch how they interact with and view each other. Plus, there are few things more amazingly awesome than the grand finale of this movie. You haven't seen Badass until you've seen a Lolita wielding a baseball bat. Altogether, this is a super fun film that, while sometimes pointless, is certainly never boring. It's cute, it's magical, and it's fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and you can add me on Facebook and Twitter. See you guys next week. Bye!